What's going on gamers? This is DBM Gamer. The King's Fall Raid opened shop today and about 6 hours and 45 minutes later it has been beaten. Now before I get into who knocked it out I have a few shoutouts to give. Now I want to give a shout out to Mulehorn Gaming. Guys go out and check out the podcast they got going over there. It's awesome stuff. Uh, Luke Walker, James Roberts, Agent Ace, Brandon Slates, and also Robert Omen for also following me on Twitter. So, as I said, King's Fall, the in-game content for the Taken King, has been beaten. Three days from launch, the most challenging aspect of the Taken King has been taken down. (laughs) Who accomplished this? None other than a super Twitch stream team of Gathalian, Professor Broman, T-Rex, and three other lesser-known streamers like Chariana, Falling Cow, and Rebel Eyes. Major congrats to all of those guys. So now, how did they do it? With a lot of grit, patience, and power leveling. To do the King's Fall Raid, you need a character of a light level of 290 or better. So I wanted to throw out some tips to help you guys raise your light level quicker. First, do the dailies. Both the dailies, the story and the crucible will kick you 15 marks a piece. Now you can only run them once a day, so no switching to an alternate character for reruns. Next, make sure you're wearing your highest level gear when finishing a mission or decrypting engrams. Now that will increase your chances of getting dropped better gear with higher stats. Even if you don't like the gear, you can always infuse them. Now, a trick I pulled today was with Xur. I bought the exotic gloves for my warlock, and then I bought a second set. I then infused the exotic gloves into the legendary ones that I had been using to raise their light level, should I decide you know, to take my impossible machines off. Run quests till you get high enough marks to buy legendary armor from the Vanguard. They will award you 220 armor sometimes and simply dismantle them for the marks. Once you have, I think, 75 marks, you can buy a piece of armor from them. Now you want to get your light level up to about 260 so that you can run the Heroic Strike playlist. Once you're there, you can really crank up the Ingram fun by using Xur's three coins that he's selling right now. Now Bungie has said this actually raises the Ingram drop rate too much and they have plans to nerf it soon. So cash in on Xur while you can. Once you get the Vanguard buff of running, I think it's three or more in a row, You'll probably want an item manager like the Destiny item manager because you'll fill up really quickly with engrams and you'll need something to move them from yourself to your vault so you can continue the vanguard buff. Now an alternate method of raising your light is also to do the Court of Oryx and run that as leader until you run out of quarters. Now you can also do some sort of mix of vanguard strikes and Court of Oryx but that really is the best way that I'm seeing to raise your light level. Now I have one last thing. I was a special guest on another podcast. My good friend N64 Josh invited me to hang out at his cave, the Loot Cave. We talked about some of my gaming past and how I came to YouTube and even a little bit of lore. Now if you want to check it out, I'll put the link in the description box. Well guys, I've got some grinding to do of my own, so I am out of here. If you like this type of content, just hit the like button or leave a comment. Or if you just want to see some more, hit that subscribe button. As always guys, have a good one.